Welcome to artistic documentation. In this video, I will show you that how to design a progress bar with some project details and the working progress. So here you can see I have designed the three column and here you can see I have just as a simple method or sample details I have used here that project ID status and the completion. So here you can see the project one two three tends to n sorry tends to 10 and now in progress and which types of project is going on so the status in progress and how much it has completed that types of completion percentage has given below given here so here you can see the first progress is a hundred percent 70% and 45% these types of sample data I have used here I am using the same types of column I am using here some with some extension or extensive data here you can see the project status cost progress and another column will come so here first come to the project and status almost same as the previous here you can see the demo and uh, now come to the cost yes the cost is depend on the time and the progress bar because some project uh, sometimes it's maybe delayed or sometimes it's maybe uh, some problem we need to face to complete the project so that's why this progress and cost is connected to each other so now here you can see in the project a b c tends to n sorry tends to i and in progress and cost is given inside the dollar so thousand twelve hundred three thousand one thousand five hundred this types of average data i have used and uh, some average report is given on the last of the column which is calculated all the data or all the project completion cost everything is the subtotal i have used the function here inside the data sheet or excel sheet so here you can see uh, the subtotal age 4 to age 12 means uh, the row i have mentioned and this all of the mentioned rows data will be come here inside the average average is depend on the number of columns divided by the number so here you can see the progress and the subtotal is counted uh, like this way and uh, now uh, here i have used some Thing, uh, you can see the cost is centerized with the dollar because uh, our every project is comes uh, from the USA based so that's why this types of costing we have calculated inside the dollar and now come to the progress yes this uh, progress also come under the subtotal because when a company run some several types of project so they need the average completion uh, in a month so that's why the average column average row has been attached with this progress bar now come to the targeted time and day yes the targeted time is means uh, sometimes we need to fulfill the customer attempt or customer uh, acceptance like uh, sometimes customer call that um, the project should be completed under a month or under three months this types of uh, complicated situation comes from many different projects so that's why the targeted time is depend on the based based on the project and the budget so here you can see the 30 40 days and 30 days this types of uh, example data i have used and now based on the day and the progress uh, the profit also calculated so here you will see
so here you can see the targeted time or day for the particular project and every project budget depend on the day and the completion progress so that's why that's why the profit is, is calculated under the consideration of the day and the cost efficiency so 30 day and the average budget is thousand dollar means here i will calculate now the profit so a is for divided by a6 means thousand dollar divided by 30 day here you can see i'm just calculating try to calculating at the same time but it's not possible because of some calculation exemption so here you can see i am first select the column of the cost budget and now you can see here every profit has calculated under the terms of the calculation and first profit profit is 33 dollar 30 dollar 100 dollar and 150 dollar that's uh, this way i have calculated and on average you can see the subtotal uh, is defined under the calculation and it's calculated the 97.92 dollar 93 dollar so per day is average profit is 97 dollar so now come to the progress yes this is the main part of this uh, tutorial that i am showing you the progress bar progress bar depend on the result or ultimate result so here the ultimate result is the progress and the progress is define all the profit and the cost everything so that's why i am using the progress for the completion here first you need to select the border and now collect now use the outline inside so here you can see already i have selected and now come to the format cell and format cell define the progress and here progress you can see the new rules and the data bar data bar means uh, you need to select the data bar for the zero to highest result of the completion here zero to one means the zero is the starting point and one is the final completion point so i am using the mark of color is green so that's why this uh, types of data bar will glowing some result and here you can see already the progress bar has come so this way you can use the progress progress bar in your data sheet which you have get the order and this way you can learn very much i hope you will get some information from this progress bar tutorial and this is really very efficient or important for the freelancer who is working for the data entry jobs so thanks for watching my video and welcome to artistic documentation and goodbye for this day